Hello everyone and welcome back to Ventures with Them. So, <laughs> it's always something, right? Yeah, well, so we don't actually have our new furniture in yet and this is actually where the sofa goes. So I thought, well, just as well use this wall for a time or two because we don't have anything else here, right? <laughs> but anyway, so uh, one of the things that um, I wanted to talk about was we actually do a lot of Disney and Universal Studios type stuff. Um, with the pandemic, we've actually not been there since um, November of this past year. This is now May, so I am definitely having like withdrawals because <laughs> I keep thinking we really want to go or really want to go spend some time and yet, you know, we just haven't been able to go. We will be going to Hershey, Pennsylvania in July. Um, and as I'm booking that trip, I am still going to uh, share that with you. We will be staying at the Hershey Lodge. So I do have that part uh, for sure. Um, I don't have the flights done yet. So as I'm actually booking that, I will get uh, a little more information to you on that as well. Like, what, who I'm booking through and why I chose them and that kind of thing. So I haven't actually booked the park tickets yet. So that'll be another part of it that I will get with you on. So here's the other part that I'm at. This is, this is kind of where we're sitting right now. So right now we're thinking that we were thinking that during Thanksgiving that we wanted to try to go on a trip. And so which would be Christmas for the kids. So, we can actually do one really nice trip and it equals out about what we normally spend on birthdays and Christmas for the kids. And if we do it during Christmas or Thanksgiving, it tends to be better in our opinions. We love uh, Disney and Universal during Thanksgiving and Christmas both. So, um that's what we were planning now we were thinking that we were going to go during thanksgiving and then we found out now that my daughter um actually won um state record book with 4-h and so um she will be going to 4-h congress um in atlanta during thanksgiving they actually leave the day after thanksgiving which kind of puts a damper on us going somewhere because you know, if you're going like that, you that would only give us a couple of days during Thanksgiving. So um, now we're looking at going in December. So where we are with this is now we're up in the air. So um, with Disneyland opening back up, we have never been to California, not as a family. So we were thinking maybe about doing um, Disneyland and Universal Hollywood and trying to do it in one trip and you know of course there's uh, SeaWorld and, or you know there's, there's SeaWorld then there's the San Diego Zoo and several other things over there that we also um, would love to do. Uh, I know that the youngest son would love to go to like Legoland, which I know there's also one of those in Orlando. I know there's a lot in Orlando that we could do, but we're actually thinking it's up in the air. You know, do we try to go to California this year and do the theme parks there? Or do we go back to Orlando where we know everything is there? We know, um, basically where everything is, we're very comfortable with it. Um, we know that there's a lot there to do. We know that there's SeaWorld and Bush Gardens, and we know that there's, you know, Universal Studios and Disney and Disney Springs and um, the outlet malls with, you know, we know all of the stuff that's there. Um, so we're up in the air. We don't really know where we wanna go. So if you have some input on that, please leave me a comment and let me know because we really just cannot seem to um, get our thoughts together on it all. And so that's one of the things that we're trying to do is figure it out. Um, I know that 
we want to go to California because it's something different. Um, Disney World has four theme parks or four parks and a Disney Spring. So that gives us five places plus the, you know, water parks. Universal Studios in Orlando has their two parks plus City Walk and uh, Volcano Bay Water Park. Um, we also know that Legoland is there, uh, SeaWorld, Aquatica, uh, you know, there's just, it just goes on and on and on, Busch Gardens and so forth. So we know it has a lot to offer also. Um, we will only be gone for about a week to 10 days. And so we just aren't sure where we need to go. Um, being that we only do have about a week or 10 days, I know that California's Disney is only two parks. And I know that Universal Hollywood there is basically one park. Um, so I know it would be easier to do in our time frame. I know we could go to both places, you know, several times and, you know, get our money's worth if we do, you know, a few days at each one. Um, I'm just not sure. So, I don't know. Ah, it's so hard to make decisions like this. I know I want to go to California, but it's just, you know, we know Orlando, so where do we go? What do we do? Anyway, leave some comments and let me know if you've been to California. Um, if you've been to both, leave some comments and let me know, you know, what you think about it and, and which you think would be the best for us to do. Um, this may not be the year to go to California. I really don't know. With the way that things are going with the pandemic, you know, I know California was shut down. I know the theme parks are just now opening back up. Do we think that they will shut back down? Do we think that everything will be okay and everything will go? So if I book this in advance and we make the decision to go and then something happens and they shut it back down in October, November, or the 1st of December, I'm just worried about it you know and I, I just I don't know maybe I'm the only one like that I'm just not sure but <sighs> decisions 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 I hate to make decisions like this I used to be fine with it and it was just like just go with it and now the older I get the more I think oh don't just go with it <laughs> that's not the thing to do so anyway, like I said, if you've got some comments or, you know, suggestions on it, please let me know because I would love to hear. <laughs> so anyway, with that being said, everything's still up in the air and nothing is said. So, <laughs> and with that being said, you have a wonderful day.